Good morning, everybody. Welcome to episode 311. And today, today is the ride to Barber Motorsports Complex. So we've got the hog chapters, a few hog chapters, and then um, some people are meeting us at lunch. So we're gonna ride like an hour to lunch, and then another, I think, hour or so to Barber. But uh, we're hooligan again this morning, and uh, people are starting to arrive for the ride. So we've got people all along the way here. Mama Badgers are talking away. Got some bikes over here. Check that bad boy out. Of course, all their bikes that are for sale. Hey, hey! All their bikes that are for sale are out front here. And then we got some more riding crew over here. Some of the Punishers are in the house, it looks like. We have no idea how big a ride this is going to be, but uh, we know it's going to be fun, no matter what. So I'm excited to meet everybody that's riding with us today and uh, go have some breakfast. Good morning, good morning. Good morning. Our lunch, I guess it's a brunch for us, more than a, a breakfast. And uh, then we will go to Barber. I'm excited for Barber. I am feeling a little better today. You can probably tell I sound a little better today. Ooh, that sucks. They're pulling up, putting the rep one up on the record. Look at that thing, it's mangled. That's not good. Anyway, here's some of their used bikes out front here. And everybody's everybody's getting ready to ride. Good morning, good morning. Here we go. In just a few minutes. It's supposed to be 10.30, but Angie's wanting everybody to line up for a group pick. Here's our crew that's leaving from here. And then we're gonna pick some more up at the restaurant. So here we go. All right, everybody's lining up. Get ready to roll. City Market, Grill and Buffet. Somebody's honking. Got the crew all lined up here. Tail gunner, froggy keeping everybody here and together. It's a great little ride. A little sprinkles, but not much. Now it's time to eat. All right, lunch at the City Market Grill was fantastic. The company was even better. And that truck's like really freaking loud, isn't it? Anyway, we got to hang out, eat lunch, get to know each other better. That was fantastic. Now we're gonna mount up on these bikes and we're gonna head to Barber. Can't freaking wait.
right guys welcome to barber motorsports complex this is the non harley rally like there are very few harleys in the parking lot there's a lot of bmws right check this bad boy out it's got stickers i told i told mama badger she thought she had a lot of stickers ha huh. got hondas we got bmws we've got them all here check out that old harley that's pretty freaking cool so is that one Lots of old stuff, lots of uh, new stuff, like Mad Ass 125. That looks like fun. Venture bikes. Sax bikes, huh? And then all these vintage bikes. This place is just freaking cool. All right, we're here at the museum. I guess we have to leave to go get our press passes, but. Pause it so you can read that, but here's the sculptures. It's only Friday. I bet it's gonna be crazy this weekend. Tell you what, if you like motorcycles, all motorcycles, this is a place to come check out. We have all these cool bikes. All these unique bikes. Check these out. One thing about it, you'll definitely not just see black Harleys here. There are all kinds, all sorts, all colors, um, and all makes and models. It's pretty cool. All right, we're officially official. We have our media pass. You got yours? Let's see it. Oh, that's backwards. There you go. Ready to go. <laughs> now let's go see what we can see. So we are on the tram coming in. Here's the first look inside the park. We've got bikes out there running. Vendors down there. Camping up on the hill. We'll get you a closer look here as we get closer. Alright, so it looks like we have the swap meet area over to our left here. Got a lady swimming, taking a bath. I'm not exactly sure what she's doing. She's having fun, whatever she's doing. <laughs> and bikes everywhere. It is crazy the amount of bikes there are. Do we want to get off and go in here, Ange? Or do you just want to ride all the way around? side of the track. A lot of people just sit up here on the hill and watch the racing. So guys, I found this. Anybody else ever like almost kill themselves on one of these? I know I did. All right, so we are in the swap meet area. 
and it goes on and on all the way down there all the way I can't even see the end down there of all the different stuff check out the little old mini bikes parts parts and more parts How many of you grew up riding some of these? Let me know in the comments below. This thing out. Can't fucking take her anywhere. <laughs> We're gonna test her out a little bit. You need some golf. Yeah, we'll get her out. All right. Grab far, man. We'll look at this guy. I had a great time. I went all day. Excuse me? If you're looking to buy a vintage bike or vintage parts, this is the place to come. All right, so we're on row three of parts, parts, bikes. This place is so freaking cool. I knew I wanted to come here, but mama wouldn't let me. She's never let me come before. What? She never let me come. I wouldn't about? want to come here. She should have let me come. He's full of crap. I tried to come last year. Fucking hurricane mom wouldn't let me. Skull. She wouldn't let me. I had to go take care of hurricane stuff. All right, so we found another one. SRF 135. Anyway, as I've said, when I get back, I'm getting a mini bike like that. So we're trying to figure out what brand, what kind, what makes the most sense for us. So we've been looking at a lot of them at these events and uh, I've been posting them in here. You probably saw the ones we saw at Lake the Ozarks. So now uh, we just checked out another one. Check this out, built to order. They're built to order and so they I'd ride that. I would totally ride that. Would you ride that? I totally would. So how much gas does it last? Two gallons. Two gallons? And it'll go... It's about 120 miles after the break. I got you. I got you. And you've got 250s? Yeah, we got a 250. Yeah, that's a 450. So 250s are both the models. That was a hardtail. And that one's got a huge suspension. And that one is fuel injected. And this is one of the builders. One of two builders, he says. That's awesome. In Indiana. So we made it to the hotel with the Redemption paid in full crew, all hanging out, eating. Randy's got the shirt on. We made it, but I haven't seen it yet. So there it is. He survived 127 degrees. But anyway, we're going to eat and uh, then maybe unpack the bikes because Angie didn't want to. All right. Another night, a different hotel. A different town, that is our story. A different chair. A different chair. A different TV. Anyway, we're just a few days from going home. But, you know, we went to the Vintage Festival about 3 o'clock this afternoon. I really enjoyed it. I cannot wait to go back um, tomorrow and the next day. So there was motorcycle racing going on. There's tons of stuff that we haven't even come close to seeing yet. Uh, we didn't even make it through the vendors or or any of it so uh, i'm pretty excited um, i love seeing the diversity um all these different bikes all these different people um it, you know 
I keep saying it, but it's not a sea of black Harleys. So um, I'm a big, you know me, I'm a Harley guy, but it's just cool to see all these other bikes and different bikes and uh, vintage stuff and new stuff. Um, just a great plethora combination of stuff. And everybody seems to be happy to be here and having a good time. With that being said, I'm still feeling a little under the weather here. I'm getting better. I feel better today than I felt yesterday, so tomorrow I will feel even better. But I've got to get this video done, uploaded, and uh, i got to get some rest. So we will see you tomorrow.